Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave you may be seated this is a great day to be a Mustang. Parents and guests, please join me in celebrating the Wimtus class of 2021. I want to thank Miss Rhonda Price for that beautiful rendition of the national anthem. And thanks again to our parents and guests for joining us today. Special thanks to our graduates, the Wimchus class of 2021, for giving us the reason to celebrate today. At this time, Senior Cynthia Lopez will come to the podium with the welcome. Welcome to the Wayne Early Middle College High School Commencement Ceremony. Today we are celebrating the transition from one chapter to another. My classmates and I are so excited, not only about today, but for what lies ahead of us. I would like to extend a special welcome to our parents, family members, and friends, as well as the staff of Wemchus and Wayne Community College. We are so happy that you could join us today. I would like to recognize our special guest, Wayne County Public School Leadership team members, Dr. Marsha Manning, Dr. Yvette Mason, Wayne County Public School board members, Ms. Patricia Burden, Mr. Len Henderson, and Mr. Wade Leatham. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today. To all of our guests, each one of you has played a significant role in the lives of the class 2021. Thank you for the role you have played and for being a part of this day. Finally, and most importantly, welcome and congratulations to the Wayne Early Middle College High School Class of 2021. I hope you all enjoy the program and this special time of celebration. We have two students who will bring student remarks this morning. First, we will hear from Senior Tiasia Williamson. Tiasia will be followed by Senior Thomas Williams. After Thomas's remarks, Mr. Derek Hunter will come to the podium on behalf of Wayne Community College. Following Mr. Hunter, Ms. Carrie Laurie will come to the stage for awards and recognitions. Good morning to the honored guests, faculty, support staff, families, and the members of the distinguished class of 2021. It is with great honor and pride that I am standing here before you today to give my warmest congratulations to my classmates. Today is a new era for us all. As we embark on this new journey, I am confident that we will look back on our high school years and be proud of how far we have come. 
Our years as Wimsh's Mustangs look back at the family we created together, but look forward to an unforgettable future. We have shown Wimsh's that we are able to challenge and redefine boundaries. High school has been a memorable journey that has ultimately prepared us for the lives we want to lead. As I sit here in anticipation of the next stages of my life, I am ambivalent. I am filled with warring emotions knowing how much effort it took to make it to the finish line. We have continued traditions, made our own, and stretched the vision of what it means to encompass the true essence of a Wimchus Mustang. Welcome to the first day of the rest of our lives as the Wimchus Senior Class of 2021. Good morning, everyone. My fellow peers, it has been a quick yet long four years. Do you guys remember our freshman year, our first day? I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sitting next to Dylan and Jasmine, telling them how much I wanted to be Eastern Wayne with most of the peers from our middle school. And I know some of us felt the same way too. From seeing Miss Lori yell into the mic, wanting us to dance to the boom chicka boom, to the various house competitions that awaited us only a month later, we slowly but surely started to realize just what we were getting into. And it just took off from there. We spent the next four years creating bonds, getting smarter, and having so much fun. Junior year was personally my favorite though. Being able to finally experience the title of upperclassman was great. And now, as I stand before you, rambling on about the few things I can remember, it's mind blowing. I've watched all of you mature and turn into the people you are today. And so with that, I want to provide some encouragement to all of you. Look at what you're wearing, where you are, who you're with. It really is happening. And although you made that bad grade on that test, even if you didn't make your desired grade in that class, even though there were times that you lost all of your, almost all of your motivation, that's okay. Why? Because you made it. Because we made it. And do you know why? Because we are strong. Because we are bold. Because we are talented because we are the class of 2021. And nothing and no one can ever take that away from us. We've been through the toughest roads, the hardest teachers, and rushed into situations that were out of our control that seemed so impossible at first. And yet, we still stand. Maybe a little bruised, maybe a little battered, but we're still here. We're still kicking. We're still grinding, we're still working, we're still pursuing our goals because if there's one thing that this school has taught us is that success, success is the only option. I truly believe that all of us, each and every one of you sitting here today are going to be great. Now, let's start our lives. The bright, the bright future that our parents and our staff have seen all these years and believed in Let's start it out with a bang, shall we? Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful morning it is for this celebration. Wayne Community College is honored to celebrate the accomplishments of these graduates today. You'll notice that some of the graduates are wearing navy blue, navy blue gowns. This is because these students have not only earned their high school diploma, but have also received their college degree or certification from Wayne Community College and had the opportunity to participate in commencement on May the 7th for the college. 
12 of the students have received their associate in arts degree, nine have received their associate in science degree, and one has received a certificate in early childhood education. Wayne Community College is honored to partner with Wayne Early Middle College High School so that every student enrolled in their high school receives credits towards a college degree. Will all the Wayne Community College graduates please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Congratulations and congratulations to you all. Good morning. Wayne Early Middle College departmental awards are designated for those students who have demonstrated outstanding achievement, leadership, effort, or enthusiasm in a specific content area. Even though our seniors had just two remaining required high school courses, American History II Honors and English IV Honors, we still take pause to acknowledge the outstanding efforts by the following students. Students, when you hear your name, please stand. We will begin with English. In English IV Honors, the Literary Scholar Award is given to the students who maintained the highest of averages, but also demonstrated a profound grasp of the literature read in English IV, and who did so with a keen ability to effectively communicate their thoughts and observations. Receiving this award are William Mercer, Thomas Williams, Kiera Negron, and Jacob Carnegie. Congratulations. <laughs> Students, you may be seated. Next, we have American History II. The Academic Excellence Award in American History II is presented to the students who again excelled academically, but also went above and beyond by exhibiting exceptional intensity, focus, and enthusiasm for the subject material. Receiving this award from Mr. Derek Limbaugh's class are Cole Thornton, Kiara Negron, and Jacob Carnegie. From Ms. Jamie Brooks' classes, the highest average award goes to William Mercer. The most improved student award goes to Alexis Perry, and the best all-around student award goes to Thomas Williams. Thank you, students. You may notice that some of our graduates are wearing different colored cords or stoles. These students have earned honors by their academic performance and coursework. Students wearing gold stoles are given the distinction of Latin honors by Wayne County Public Schools for their grade point average. Students with cum laude stoles are recognized as honor graduates. Students with magna cum laude stoles are recognized as high honor graduates. And those with summa cum laude stoles are recognized as highest honor graduates. Many of our graduates are also wearing various cords for specific distinction. Orange cords are worn by North Carolina academic scholars. These are students who had an unweighted grade point average of at least 3.5 and coursework to include a well-rounded curriculum with courses that fall into the categories of fine arts, career technical, world languages, as well as advanced science courses like chemistry or physics. Gold cords are worn by our North Carolina honor graduates students who have completed their high school career with at least a 3.2 unweighted GPA. The blue and white Mustang Honor Cord, sponsored by our Student Council Association, is worn by students who represent what we at Wemchus would call the best of Mustang qualities. Good academic performance, attendance, character, involvement in extracurricular activities, community involvement, and being excellent role models in terms of responsibility and accountability. 
Students must actually apply for this cord, so they also must show a great deal of initiative. And finally, some of our graduates will be recognized as President's Education Award recipients. These students have maintained an unweighted GPA of at least 3.5 and have achieved benchmark status on a college admissions test like ACT and SAT. These students will receive a certificate today signed by both President Biden and the U.S. Secretary of Education. As we prepare to recognize the class of 2021, I want to first pause and recognize one of our staff members for her amazing accomplishments in the field of education. Ms. Sheila Kovar will be retiring at the end of this school year. Ms. Kovar is our science department chair. She teaches biology and physical science. She is passionate about teaching her students. One thing that I can say is common, a common opinion, I'll say, for students who had Ms. Kovar's biology class, and I'm looking at my seniors, she was tough, wasn't she? She was tough. She was passionate. She's very soft-spoken, but she pushed them to depths that they didn't even really know they were going to reach themselves. And then those students who left her class and went on to a college biology class, Biology 111, felt so much better prepared for the teachings and the push given by Ms. Kovar. So we want to pause right now and ask Ms. Kovar to come join us on the stage as we would like to present her with our coveted Mustang Award for her contributions to the Wimches students. <laughs> Ms. Kovar is so dedicated. Oh no, there she is. They thought you were giving an exam, Ms. Kovar. <laughs> Here comes Ms. Kovar, students, parents, guests. Please join me in celebrating Ms. Kovar. And the Mustang Award reads to Sheila Kovar, your Wimches family, thanks you, 2015 to 2022. To our students, our parents, and friends, what a year. Have you ever ridden a roller coaster? Remember the slow start, the uphill climb? Did you close your eyes before the big drop or scream with victory as the ride came to an end? When I think about this school year, the thrilling ride of the roller coaster, comes to mind. The year started slowly as we all got back into the routine of school. Along the way, there were highs and lows, twists and turns, but now, all of a sudden, the class of 2021 has reached the end of this ride. You should all feel the thrill of victory for reaching the end. You have handled the challenges of this year like the champions I know you are. Some of you are poets, scientists, artists, writers, singers, and I have some math whizzes out there too. You have proven to be tenacious, steadfast, dedicated, and committed. And most importantly, I have seen you be a compassionate friend and student while we faced the challenges of this year together. Every graduate sitting here today 
could be described as utterly and uniquely diverse in the breadth and depth of his or her interests, activities, and strengths. Again, you are champions. I have enjoyed watching you grow and prepare for your next journey. I sincerely hope that as you grow older and conquer your goals, you will smile whenever you think about the, your years at Wimches. We have worked hard to provide you with the opportunity and the environment to be uniquely you. You will always have a special place in our hearts. As you prepare to move forward, know that the staff of Wimches will be forever in your cheering section. As we prepare to recognize our graduates individually, I want to pause and invite them to take a sip of water from the water bottle that is next to your seat. It's warm, so take a good sip so that you'll be ready to be celebrated individually as you cross the stage. Now I ask Ms. Lori to return to the podium and we will honor our graduates. Brian Ayala Lemus, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Rutherford Bastian, High School Diploma with College Credits. Jalen Best, High School Diploma with College Credits. Nathaniel Best, high school diploma with college credits. Brady Bromagem, associate in science. David Brumley, associate in arts. Dylan Campbell, high school diploma with college credits. Paula Cast Peñalosa, associate in science. Jingxin Chen, associate in science. Holly Crocker, Associate in Arts. Zaporia Curtis, Associate in Arts. Brianna Davis, High School Diploma with College Credits. Zakia Dillahunt, Associate in Science. Jaden Donovan, High School Diploma with College Credits. Eric Esparza Perez, High School Diploma with College Credits. Charlie Gagliano, Associate in Science. Yeah. 
Jasmine Ham, Associate in Arts. Jose Hernandez Trejo, high school diploma with college credits. Kimberly Holt, high school diploma with college credits. Kyler Horan, high school diploma with college credits. Karen Huerta Pineda, Associate in Arts. Caitlin Hutchinson, Associate in Arts. Dania Cannon, High School Diploma with College Credits. Jacob Carnegie, Associate in Arts. <laughs> Cynthia Lujano Lopez, Early Childhood Certificate. Fidel Mandojano, High School Diploma with College Credits. Viani Manley, Associate in Science. <laughs> Elizabeth Mastro Leonardo, High School Diploma with College Credits. William Mercer, Associate in Arts. Kiera Negron, Associate in Science. Jacob Newsom, High School Diploma with College Credits. Lucas Olan Matrasang, high school diploma with college credits. <laughs> Carlos Ortiz Arellano, high school diploma with college credits. <laughs> Angel Perez Sanchez, associate in science. Alexis Perry, high school diploma with college credits. <laughs> Stacy Redondo, high school diploma with college credits. <laughs> Chevelle Reinhardt, associate in science. Cherie Spruill, high school diploma with college credits. Cole Thornton, associate in arts. Matthew Turcott, high school diploma with college credits. Abigail Villa, high school diploma with college credit. <laughs> Hannah Williams, associate in arts. <laughs> Thomas Williams, high school diploma with college credits. Asia Williamson, Associate in Arts.
Will the members of the class of 2021 please stand? Based on the recommendation of the faculty of Wayne Early Middle College High School, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Wayne County Board of Education, it is my honor to declare you graduates of Wayne Early Middle College High School and members of the class of 2021. Now, on the count of three, turn your tassels from right to left. One, two, three. Schedule that flyover at just the right time. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2021. Again, thank you to our parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, guardians. You have been instrumental in helping your child to reach this milestone. Without your love and guidance, they would not be here today. Congratulations to you, graduates. Give your families a round of applause. <laughs> Seniors, I hope you will take some time after the ceremony to return to the field to take some pictures in front of our decorative signs. To the Wimps class of 2021, as you prepare for your next, surround yourself with people who push you, who challenge you, who make you laugh, who make you better, who make you happy. Congratulations. As we prepare for the recessional, as a courtesy to our graduates, please remain in your rows until all graduates have left the field. Graduates, please stand for the recessional. <laughs> <laughs> 